Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to download documents from the content viewer in Desire to Learn. As you can see, I have a PowerPoint file already showing in the content viewer. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And you'll notice at the bottom, we don't have a button to print. So if I want to print this PowerPoint file, I need to download it to do that. And there's a couple ways you can do that. One, you can click here on the download button. And just below that, there's also another download button. Either one will work. And depending on your browser, it may react a little differently when you click on it. This is Chrome. And when I click on the download button, it automatically starts to download the file here. If you're in another browser or a different platform, this is in Windows, you may have it prompt you to save to a specific place or whatever but anyway that should download to your default area uh, in Windows that would be into the uh, my documents downloads area generally unless you would change that so once it's downloaded I can click on it and it will open up the file and from here I can go in and print it and another reason you may want to download a file is the fact that in the content viewer, if there happens to be a link embedded in the file, you cannot click on it. You'll be able to see it, but when you try to click on it, it will not open that site. So if you have a PowerPoint file or a Word document or a PDF file that's showing up in the uh, viewer here and it has links in it that you cannot click on and open up the websites then you need to download that file and you'd use that same process just click on the download button and once you've downloaded it you'll be able to use those links and they should open up the websites uh, that you need to go to